I figured I would uh, kind of check a little bit of update on this uh, notebook here. So working on uh, kind of Prime's uh, kind of data structure thing. And uh, so we have this data set, which is just an array of nested arrays and a structure, which is the person, name, age, address. Address is street, city, and chords, and then chords is Latin long. And then we had this build object that was getting passed into, so it was, it was first it was doing map, and then it was reducing the, uh, it was doing a reduce with, uh, to flatten the array. And then it was mapping and then doing this build object. But I said, let's do map reduce all the way down, like turtles all the way down. So let's do this reducer. So instead it just does a switch case index and adds um, to the accumulator whatever is already existing and then the new thing. So we know it's, yeah. And we're also testing the um, Dino, basically the Jupyter Notebook for Dino. So um, let's go ahead and just restart. I'm going to clear all outputs here. And uh, yeah, so restart, clear all outputs, run all. Okay, we see our data. Um, this actually, what it's doing is this is actually piping. This is piping uh, data from the map with flatten array to map of build object. And so what this is actually doing, we can um, kind of redo it kind of more. Oh, it's Python notebook. <laughs> I mean, it's a, a notebook here. I don't know how to delete this. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. All right. So what it's actually doing, let's say const flat arrays and we'll say um, map flatten with the data and then maybe we can log that. Let's, let's log that and see what flat arrays gives us. Okay, looks like the flat arrays, array, an array of flat arrays. Okay, cool, so we got that, all right. So now we want to we want to actually um, build the object, right? So let's say const. Um, it's really a struct is what we're building. Uh, constructs equals. Um, we will map the <coughs> the build object reducer. We're going to pass the 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 build object reducer into the map function. So it's going to map. It's going to map over this array and for each item in for each item in this array so in other words for each flat array it's going to call build object so build object actually is um, build object is going to going to actually return a reducer so a reducer obviously going to take something and then do its stuff on it. So it's going to take, um, I'm sorry, build object takes, takes data and then, um, passes that to the reducer, but it, it calls, uh, excuse me, it returns a reducer. So it's an, so it's a function which returns it's a higher order component. So basically in order to do a higher order component, we actually have to um, use this syntax like that. So that's when we that's when we flattened the data. Now we have the flat arrays here, and now we'll um, build object with the data, but not this data, the flat arrays data. So we'll pass uh, we'll pass flat arrays in there. And just to show you, like if we were to pass the the standard data, and then we can log the uh, structs, it's going to look funny, but let's just kind of clear all outputs, restart and run all. So here's our flat arrays. And then here's what the structs look like 
with un uncleansed, unfiltered data. They look like this funny, like you have name, age, and address, street, and then it's like in this array, and then city, and then these coordinates are in array, which is an array, and the, yeah, all of that. So that's funny, right? Let's let's cleanse this. Let's clean this up a bit, and say um, instead of um, logging that out, let's say um, const cleansed uh, structs is going to we're going to map the build object. Oh build object and we're going to pass it the flat arrays and we'll log the uh, excuse me we'll log the cleansed structs and we'll clear all outputs and we could just run all we don't have to restart but yeah okay so that's the clean ones or we could you know um, we could pipe this we could say const pipe equals compose the map flatten and then the output of this will be passed to this subsequent call the subsequent map of build object and we've got that that pipe data we can log it log the pipe and I'll just uh, do that and let's say clear all outputs restart and uh, run all That did not work. Compose map flatten map out to log pipe. Oh. <laughs> okay, we've got this partially applied. So it is, it's doing exactly what it's, it's been asked to do. So we've partially applied the the flatten. Um, so it's mapping over that um, that array of of uh, nested arrays and it's flattening them and then it's passing that to the build object so you have basically what you have is pre-constructed um, operations but just no data so now we actually have to pass that data in to the um, <laughs> there we go so we passed it into the the uh, the uh, the bound, uh, the the partially applied. Now it's fully applied. So now here's your data out. 